We, as students, have been subjected to Shakespeare all throughout our high school life. However, we don't want to sit idly and learn complacently. We want to know, what is the purpose in learning about this man that lived hundreds of years ago on another continent? Why is it important to read his works filled with strange wording and language? Did this man from the 16th century really completely understand human beings to where his works are reflected in literature today? Why should we care? That's what we took to the streets to find out. We asked our teachers, fellow students, and strangers on what they got from Shakespeare and what that means for us. All right, we're here with Miss Mann from Churchill High School. She is our English teacher. Hi, my name is Isabella Madellin. Samantha Tarr. Madeline Martinez. I'm Clark Stevens. I'm director of theater here at Churchill High School in San Antonio. My name is Wade Young. I'm the theater arts director here at Churchill. Hi, my name is Samantha Garza. Hi, my name is Seth Sampson. I'm a counselor here. I'm Miss Chertakovsky. Hi, I'm Charlotte Gustafson. Uh, what is your history with Shakespeare? Uh, I took a uh, uh, English literature class in high school, and I really enjoyed uh, reading his poems and his uh, his plays and all that he did. And uh, I've seen some of his plays, and they're fantastic. Uh, I know that he is a writer of some sort. Well, I suppose I heard about Shakespeare as a young man. Um, my first real encounter was, I guess, in high school, though, when I was, it was a rather dreadful experience because I was told to read Julius Caesar. I don't think it was intended to be read. Later, I was cast in a play, uh, A Midsummer Night's Dream, as a sophomore in high school, and I thought it was the most exciting thing I'd ever done. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I've directed uh, Macbeth, Hamlet, Twelfth Night, Romeo and Juliet, The Tempest, <laughs> Much Ado About Nothing. Um, yeah. Okay, so I think it's easy to say you know your Shakespeare fairly well. Gosh, it might not have been till ninth grade with Romeo uh, and Juliet. Yeah. yeah. Um, I did a lot of Shakespeare, or like I covered a lot of Shakespeare information in eighth grade for theater, and so I really enjoyed his look on love and everything and I thought that he had an interesting like viewpoint on each of his plays. I probably heard much earlier but the first time I actually studied Shakespeare was as a freshman in high school. I've read a lot of Shakespeare plays but I've, ne I've never actually been in a Shakespeare play just because um, I, I like reading them as opposed to like acting in them but watching them is actually really cool too. Yeah, well, would you, if you were given the opportunity? Um, it depends on the show. If it was like Taming of the Shrew or like A Midsummer's Night Dream, like the funnier shows. And do you like Shakespeare? Why or why not? Uh, I mean, he's okay. I wouldn't say I dislike him. I wouldn't say I like him. I do, but I think that some of his pieces are so hard to read, so it's like he's speaking a different language. <laughs> Shakespeare's fantastic. Uh, I think he was ahead of the, his time in regards to the actual uh, plays that he wrote. Uh, very progressive during that time period. It's kind of boring, but you know, overall, he had some talent. <laughs> I like the work that he has done, but like, just like sometimes when we have to learn about Shakespeare and how broken down it has to be, it can just get kind of tedious and like make me not like the piece of work anymore. I, I like him very much. I think his stories are timeless and classic um, and important works to, to see and read. Well, to see really, not, not so much to read. It's pretty thick language. Uh, but it's not my favorite. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest. I think that there's been a lot of really fine playwrights in the last 500 years. <laughs> so uh, there's things that I, that I much prefer. In your humble opinion, why would you say Shakespeare is still relevant today? Well, I think Shakespeare is uh, arguably the best playwright that ever lived. Um, I think uh, the poetry, the imagery, um, the creative thinking that goes into um, the study of a play or the production of a Shakespeare play, um, I think it's, uh, it's something that has withstood the test of time Theater's been alive and well for over 2,500 years, and Shakespeare is still translated into lots of languages, and people are compelled and moved to 
to see these characters time and time again. Um, and I think that it reaches us on a deep human level. I think every time we see a Shakespeare play, we learn something about our own humanity. I think Shakespeare can be relevant and we can take bits and pieces out of like the work that he has mm -hmm. done and the messages that he's made and the stories he's told. But I don't think it's as like a whole can still be like super relevant. Sure. But it's just like if you break it down and make like you can mold any modern time into something that Shakespeare has done. You know, it transcends all generations and it's something that's passed down from generation to generation. He has made a lasting impact, I guess, from the past until now. He's written about things that were universal. Um, his themes are about the human experience, so I think he's still relevant today. Because yeah. I think that Shakespeare, when he wrote his uh, plays and his books, he wrote about, he described the same feelings that we have in any time, in any century, like love, hatred, impatience, and passions. Mm -hmm. So it's a, so, he's so passionate. Mm -hmm. He was so passionate. Yeah. And I think it's still very relevant any time, any century, any year. Well, the stories are timeless. I mean, like, uh, was it, who was it that said, uh, Socrates, wasn't it? Or was it Plato that said, there is nothing new under the sun? Okay. And, and so basically he created something and all of our stories really have been spin-offs of his work ever since, <laughs> you know, just about. If you lose that tie, we will lose a great deal of our, uh, our appreciation of language. Uh, Back in back in Shakespeare's day and all, play you went to a play you went to hear a play, mm -hmm. you didn't go see a play you went to hear a play. That's why the language is so lofty and, and beautifully written. They didn't even speak like that at the time, although mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but yeah, you, I think that the, the the appreciation of the written word is very important. The time I've encountered the plays, whether it's through teaching or I've seen them performed, I think you know what's going on there that that I can relate to. What are the questions? being asked about human nature and the human condition that uh, feature into my life. And, sure. and I think on a, a more profound level, the questions of, you know, what is going on? Why sure. are we here? Questions of fate and uh, relationships, siblings, parents, all of the mm -hmm. things that he tackles um, that deal with our complete psychology. Right. He does tackle a lot of questions that come up with the individual versus society, sure. uh, family issues, all of those flaws that we have, greed and jealousy, and looking at, in the Western world, the Western literature, um, how have a body of plays dealt with that, that people are still talking about, people are still performing. I mean. I know that there are a lot of questions about, you know, was this really William Shakespeare that wrote this? Or do the, are these relevant? Are there not other works that are being written today that are more straightforward in their language uh, that also deal with the, the heavy issues? And the mm -hmm. answer is yes, but the idea that there is a body of work that one person wrote in the late 1500s and people around the world are still touting them as a tag for yeah. the human story. It, it's, it's worth considering, it's worth talking about. Through these interviews, we've come to understand that Shakespeare somehow understood the human condition. Shakespeare teaches us humanity. He's showed us the evils of man and the powers of love. To keep studying and learning from Shakespeare is to develop and appreciate our language, come closer to understanding our innate truths, and plainly, become better people.